Hi everyone, Chef from Outdoors in the Low Countries. And in this video, we're going to have a look at the paddock manure collector. This device can be used to collect the manure from horses, sheep, cows, things like that into this implement. The idea is that you drag this device over your paddock and thereby keep your paddock clean without doing it by hand. And you can drag it by everything that you can tow it. In this case, we use a compact tractor that can also be done by a quart and ATV, 4x4, or anything else that can tow this device. Local is a producer and seller for implements for compact tractors, and they asked me to have a look at their prototype. Let's dive together to the construction and the working principle of this device. And we're also going to test it in a horse paddock that has a sandy underground and also grass underground. We're also going to use it to see if it also collects other materials like leaves, chestnuts, and things like that. So let's dive together into this implement and let's have a proper look at it. The width of this collector is 122 centimeters or 48.4 inches. The length is 110 centimeters or 43.3 inches and the height is 20.5 centimeters or 8 inches. It has been made from steel with a thickness of 4.2 millimeter and the rod at the front is 34.5 millimeter. At the front you see this slate type of structure that will help moving over wobbly terrain or uneven or sharp edges. And there are two handles at the side that can be used to lift the device and then you can empty it with what? The implement itself is towed by two chains and at the end of the chain there's a ring which is connected to a large ring which you can connect to your towing vehicle. Now in this case I use the device for connecting my trailer but of course you can also connect it in another way and the excessive amount of chain I just wrapped around the backside of the three point hitch. This way I can also easily change the height of the towing device as part of the test. Now in order to test the effectiveness of this collector we're going to use it in a horse paddock with a sandy surface as well as with a grassy surface and we're going to see what the performance is under both conditions. In the sandy paddock, the device was collecting quite some dirt, getting into the implement and mixing with the manure. And as a result of this dirt, the front side was only getting heavier and it was only collecting more dirt. So in order to limit that, I shorted the chains and lifted the three-point hitch. So the front side was being lifted up, but still quite some dirt was getting into the device. And in the wobbly terrain, only the top part of the manure is scraped off, leaving the bottom part uncollected. By lifting the back side, you see that you can lift up the front, and as a result, you take less sand. But when you have a little bit of a hill, it fills up with sand and it gets more heavy, and as a result, still sand is coming in. So, in that sense, it's less suitable for the paddock that has a sandy surface. In a grassland paddock, the device is much more effective in collecting the manure from the grassy surface. The implement is picking up the manure with the front side bottom plate, which is straight and rigid. Therefore, the smoother the terrain is, the better the device will collect. Also in grassland, a very uneven or wobbly terrain can result in scraping off the top part and leaving the manure in the lower sections uncollected. Here on the grassland, you really see that it works much better. You don't take up the soil, you don't take up the dirt, and you do take up the horse droppings. So in that sense, here this collector works well. Now here we also have a lot of chestnuts lying on the ground. So we also want to see if this device is able to pick up the chestnuts as well. Would be nice of course, wouldn't it? The 
Obviously, it can also be used to pick up chestnuts. They're quite small, so sometimes they go underneath. A lot of it is being picked up, as well as uh, the outside of it. So you clean the grass with that as well. So in the case you have a lot of fruit trees, let's see if this device can also remove apples. So I've put down here some apples in order to see whether it is being collected. The apples work fine, they're going in easily without any problem. So we're right now in autumn. The leaves are still on the tree, but they are already start to falling down. So there's quite a lot of them on the ground, as you can see. So let's also test if this implement is able to remove the leaves from the ground. With great help, let's do the test. You can see that some of the leaves have been taken into this collector, but uh, still a lot is lying out there. So after four passes, I think we can conclude it's not very effective for picking up the leaves. So why is this chain connected here at the middle section? I believe this is done to prevent the front side from coming up. Because to overcome the friction force during driving it over the field, you have to have a horizontal force being created by this chain. And in some cases they also have to this implement that have a cable. And because this is able to move freely, most part of the horizontal force will be coming from this side. So it will be in the direction of the chain and there needs to be enough horizontal force in order to overcome the friction. And when this is then having an angle like this, there will also be a small vertical force coming in, but that will be limited because that's only a small amount of force at this side because most of the dragging force will be delivered at this point and also of course on the other side. Now when you don't have the connection here but you have it at this point then still you need to have enough horizontal force in order to come the friction but as a result of the connection here there will also be a vertical component coming into play and as a result this device will come easily loose and at some point it will be even be lifted. And when you increase the angle the horizontal force needs, still needs to be there in order to drag it and to overcome the friction, but the vertical component will increase as well, and as, at, at some point it will come loose, depending on the weight of the device and how much is inside the implant. So let's also measure the weight of the device, and for that I will use the Steinberg scale, which has an accuracy and the resolution of 0.1 kilo, and the Rhino Root Ripper to pull the whole thing up. So including the chain, the implement weighs 68.6 kilos. And when I take the main part of the chain off, and with only the part of the chain connected to this device, which is normally on the device, it is 61.9. And let's also remove the remainder part of the chain to have a full set of measurement. And with the whole chain removed, the weight is 59.9 kilos. So let's now look at the functionality of this collector. As I showed you on a grassland paddock, to this implement works well to collect the manure of the horses. The more smoothly it is, the better it works. When you have a little bit of wobbly terrain, then some of the manure will be cut off at the bottom and it will remain in the grassland, but most of it will go in. And the more smoother it is, the better it will work in collecting all of it. In a sandy paddock, it's a little bit different because the front side also collects the dirt and the sand, and it will be mixed with your manure. I shortened the chain and lifted the backside a little bit to limit this effect, but still, even with the backside lifted, and as a result, a lot of the old manure is then taken away, and in some cases, you still have sand coming in. So, my conclusion is that for the sandy paddock, the device works less well. So we also looked at alternatives as a functionality for this collector. Apples work fine. Chestnuts, the wild one, go well. The tame one, a little bit smaller and a little bit more flat. Well, the outside is also relatively good collected. Uh, the chestnut itself, less good. 
it helps to pick up the spiky outside and it gives the grass more light, which is why you do it. Removing leaves from the grass doesn't really work. Glass flip underneath, as a result, it doesn't really collect. I also expect that the more shorter the grass is, the easier it will, because when you have high grass, this device edge is more likely to float over it, and as a result, not collecting it with the front side opening. So I hope you enjoyed the video with the review of this collector. I really want to thank Locon for providing it to me, so I could create a video to share my findings with you. If you have any questions or remarks, please put them in the comments below, and I will be happy to reply to it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.